Hey guys, happy new year. We're starting off the new year with some salads from Chopped and we thought we would do a quick mukbang and read some of Kyle's hate comments because mm -hmm. they're pretty funny. There's so many. And there's so many. I mean, there's probably at least 20 after every game. So I, all the ones I'm reading today are all screenshotted after one game. So. Are we gonna read the ones that Kyle's love tweets? You want Kyle's love tweets? No. <laughs> I mean, we can at the end of I'm kidding. No. Okay. I read Kyle's comments. Like, I search his name on Twitter after every single game, and some of the comments honestly kill me. You wouldn't believe it. So that's why I thought it'd be fun to, be, to do this video and um, read some of the comments, because I think they're so funny. You know, I'm not even going to call people out with their ats. I feel like... Okay. Or, sh or, you know, maybe we should, and that'll teach them to be kind. Mm, no. They know who they are. True. I vote no. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> the first one. I'm going to try to say it how I think they're saying it. Also, I'm not really sure what to do when they cuss. I am. Are you this one? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You gotta say it. I mean, that's what they said. I guess I'll just like bleep it out on this because I don't want to like drop profanities left and right, but that's what these people do. Yeah. So here's the first tweet. Like, really? Kyle Guy is still playing? He has to be at least 40. Douche. <laughs> Let's even go together. I don't know why people. There were a lot of tweets that said that, like, that say that all the time. They're like, really? Kyle Guy's still playing? Like, you've only been playing for three years. I'm on my third year. You're, yeah. Like, you haven't even been here that long. What do you mean? <laughs> you get this a lot, too. I don't know why people say this, but maybe it's just your, the way you look. Like, your image. I don't know. Is it the one that said it had the most punchable face? No, but... <laughs> But that's the one I get a lot. You do get Kyle that a lot. has the most punchable face in America. Yeah, I think that's actually one of these tweets. This guy says, Kyle guy literally looks like the dude that says, touch me and my dad will sue you. That's just, wow. <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from rich, so I don't get that <laughs> one at all. Maybe it's like your the hair. Because you're like the classic, like, white boy, blue eyes. Sometimes you have, like, the long hair going. Come on. But, like, you... My blue eyes are distinguishable. <laughs> I'm special. You're special. In that sense. But, you're, but you don't wear, like, khakis and... Button-ups. Polos and... Bend your bands. Yeah. I have a couple of those. Yeah. And you don't... What else do they wear? Sperry's. Sperry's. Like, you don't dress like that. You don't dress preppy. This one says, Kyle Guy loves Mmm. That's false. Yeah, no comment. Yeah, that one's... Get married soon. That one's false. Wedding year. Wedding year. Okay, so this tweet... Oh, no, I dropped my fork. Mmm. This tweet says... Loopers. Um... Virginia player Kyle Guy might as well be Grayson Allen. In other words, someone everyone should hate. Wow. <laughs> They're putting down multiple people with that one. Yeah. And someone replied, so a guy, so Guy is a thug who does cheap shots? Question mark? I wouldn't say Grayson Allen's a thug. He's so. not a thug. He's like the farthest thing from a thug. This next one says... Kyle Guy looks like a punk. Mm. <laughs> do you think you look like a punk? Why do no. you think why do you think people think you look like a punk? Um, I think a lot of it has to do with my image, like you said. Just well, like I don't think you put off that kind of image. No, just I'm just saying like I'm just a normal dude with some awesome hair and at least you don't have the man bun i'd love to see your hate comments when you have the man bun yeah those are probably really funny 
These kind of tweets make me mad. Mm. Like when people talk about physically harming you. Mm. Or any, it could be anyone. Like any player on any court. I, You think it's funny, whatever. Ha ha ha. Few likes, retweets, whatever. But to me, that's like taking it too far. Like that's not funny. You're an actual human. You shouldn't mm-hmm. ever ask, like, call for that. Like, to me, that's never funny. Those, are, that. those are the tweets that make me really mad. So this person says, not actively suggesting, but if somebody wants to casually take Kyle Guy out during halftime, I would not be mad. Mm. Like, that's not funny. Maybe that's the only way they can stop me from scoring. <laughs> People just make the comments they do. Just kidding. What's that? They get to say that. I can say what I said. That's true. On, but those are the ones that make me mad. Like, how would you like it if you had 20 people tweeting you saying, I hope you get hit by a car? Because people say that to you. Right. Or like, I hope you get punched in the face. Or I hope you die. Or I hope someone takes you out at halftime. Like, like how would you feel if you had 20, 15 people tweeting you that? 20, 15? 20, 15 is uh, what I meant. Like, tweeting you that every single day. And sometimes it's more. Like, after big games, it's way, 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 way more. We should have read the ones after the UMBC game. Uh, yeah, no, we won't do that. That's fine, babe. We can read them. <laughs> but, I'll call it one. But those, like, those are the ones that make me mad. Because when people make mean tweets the way these people are, like, we're laughing about it. But to some people, that, like, actually really affects their mental health. Right. You know? And that's what really bothers me. So, anyways, moving on. Well, and even if you're... Not dealing with any, like, mental health issues. Just constant negative thoughts being thrown at you mm-hmm. can really mess with your psyche, so. Yeah. This person says, dealing with all this anger by thinking about Kyle Guy getting laughed out of the NBA combine. Good one. Good one. I don't really have much to say about that one. Good for you, dude. Okay. Oh, this is what we were talking about earlier. I want to punch Kyle Guy in the face. <laughs> That's probably the one I see the most. Yeah, definitely. It's probably because... Now, I bring a little bit of it on myself when I'm in an away game. And they start chanting at me or whatever. And then I... You do kind of like... I'll shush the crowd or I'll wink at them. And it's a little bit you, antagonizing. Yeah, like, you do antagonize a little bit. This one says, Man, Kyle Guy can go to hell. He's pretty okay at basketball. Don't know if he's an NBA player though. That was my exact thought as somebody replied. No, he replied to himself that. Oh. <laughs> That's sad. Grayson Light, they called you. Might have the ugliest teeth ever. Aw. That's mean. Oh, you have salad in your teeth. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How am I now? You're good now. Well, actually, there's still a little. Maybe you should just not smile because you have salad in your teeth. This is me being unashamed of my teeth. I know, but you have salad on it, so. Kyle Guy and Jack Salt sound more like they belong on our favorite team, eternally full of white douchebags. Duke, of course. Atta boy, Jack. That emoji. (laughs) Kyle Guy looks just white enough to hate him like he plays for Duke. (laughs) (laughs) They're throwing a lot of shots at Duke in this, too. Yeah, there is. People hate Duke, man. Mm, Oh, yeah. Kyle Guy can do one thing. Set his feet and shoot. Get in his face and make him put the ball on the floor, and he's a below average scorer. Mm. I've heard that one my whole life, so. Really original, guys. (laughs) Where is the chicken? We should, like, insert your highlights where you're doing stuff. Not that. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> That's her idea. Now, Kyle Guy is even more annoying without the man bun. I was pretty, yeah. Were you annoying with the man bun? I was annoying. I just had a man bun. That's annoying. That is annoying. I hated the man bun. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. We just want to read some hate comments because we think they're funny and it's, I don't know, it's funny to us. But sometimes yeah. it's not funny. And, I don't know, I guess, just be kind. Think before you say stuff. 
athletes or people too, or anyone that you say anything mean to. Try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes when you say that. Dude, just being a good human being, because that's at least why I believe why we're here, is to make everybody better. So. Yeah, I, and I mean, I just think about, wow, this world is full of so much hate mm -hmm. all the time. Depression is at an all-time high. Anxiety is at a all-time high. And, like, the world would just be such a better place if people would just take two seconds to think before they said something or if you guys were just, if everyone was just kind to one another mm -hmm. like it's not that hard to be kind to one another it's really not like golden rule treat people how you want to be treated right. and i just feel like if everyone would make an effort to be kind that could help just a little bit with the way our world is turning right now man says right here one love oh pop marley yeah I one see love so let's that's also kind of why I wanted to make this video right. okay, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> that's also why I kind of wanted to make this video I thought it'd be funny to read the hate comments but also just let everyone know hey stop being mean like it's not <laughs> cool to be mean anymore it's not cool yeah there's definitely a stigma that like when you make fun of people like you're in with the cool kids yeah you know what I mean that's not cool that's not cool. I think you're cool if you are different and you step away from that kind of thing. Be nice in 2019. And that is the end of this video. Happy New Year. No more lecturing from Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.